And welcome everyone. Uh, I just started the recording. Great. Uh, welcome. My name is Cindy Williams. I'm the Vendor Relations Manager for the California Peace Officers Association. And I would like to welcome you to our October demo days. Uh, two o'clock here, so it must be time for barrier one screen. So um, just a few thoughts on our demo days. Uh, we know it's important to stay connected and it's been really challenging to do that in 2020. So along with the rest of the world, we have learned to pivot, but we understand how important it is for you to still connect with important vendors for your departments and your agencies. And that's why we're bringing you demo days. Uh, up right now are some great friends of the association. They've been with us in, in our trade shows and expositions, and this year they're joining, joining us virtually. So I would like to welcome Al and Vicki Ogilvie of the Barrier One Screen. Hi, Al. Hi, Vicki. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Good, good. Please introduce yourselves. Uh, anyway, uh, to all you folks out there, hi, and welcome to the Barrier One Screen, and thank you guys for joining us. Uh, as patent holders, Vicki Ogilvie and myself, Al Ogilvie, would like to share with you guys how our screens are being used by law enforcement and first responders. Uh, about two and a half years ago, the idea that our screens would work for law enforcement organizations started by us using or seeing a crime scene at the side of the road where the officers were trying to shield the crime scene by putting up pop-up canopies on their side and the legs were sticking out of the canopies. Now, with social media being the way it is these days, we realized our screens would provide instant privacy barriers, perimeters, and that's how our journey started for us. Since then, we partnered with agencies throughout California who have said, we've been looking for you guys as we do our demos and demonstrations for them. Now, in the following video, you'll see some types of screens that we use along with setup and takedown procedures. Uh, we hope you enjoy the video. Afterwards, we'll see, uh, you'll see some of our partners who join forces with us, and we've created the screens for them, for their organizations. We look forward to some time afterwards to answer questions for you guys. And with that, thank you, and we hope you enjoy the video, and we'll start it now. Thank you. Barrier one screen uh, for privacy perimeters, barriers for law enforcement first responders. Now you can use them for DUI checkpoints, traffic control, uh, barrier perimeters, command centers, forensics, investigations. Now these screens are six feet high and eight feet wide. They're self standing or they're supported with uh, a weight on the bottom. You can also pin them in the ground. Now with the screens, you can have them custom made to your city, your department, your organization. Uh, you can have your logo, whatever your logo might be, your badge. You can have your badges up here the way this one is. You can have your verbiage in the middle. In this case, it says police. But you can have your organization such as this is Manhattan Beach Police Department. You can have that on there. Also comes with uh, striping if you want striping. We have non-reflective striping such as this one. You can have singles, double rows. You can also have just, just a police on them. On this one here, we have reflective striping. Again, double, or you can have the single. Um, and you can have these screens lined up in a line. So you can have three, four, five, all lined up to hide the thing. You can also do them in a square. So you can have like a command center, um, such as the one that we've got here. The backgrounds for these, you can have this particular ones are in black, but you can have them for whatever color your city or organization might be, whether it's green or blue. Uh, again, these are these are black. Now, I'm gonna set the screen up uh, just to show you how you set it up and take it down, how you put the screen on. They're lightweight, compact, made of carbon steel, and it's all steel frame, no plastic except for little caps. And again, this is the frame. 17 pounds lightweight. Kit comes with the frame and two weight bags. Now these weight bags you can fill with sand, pea gravel, and also, as I said, you can, there's holes in the bottom, in the feet down here. You can pin them in the ground if you have to. And it also comes with your custom screen, such as this. Anyway, I'll go ahead, I'll set this up. Now you undo this strap. 
like so, and you put all four feet down. And when you put them down, you lock them in place such that. And again on this side here, feet down, lock it, foot down, lock it. Then with two hands, you set it up. Again, it's very simple. Bring that bar up, little slide piece, lock it, in, lock it in place here, like so. And on the bottom, the same thing. You lock this one in place. Now, you set your weight bags on, or you pin it on the ground. Again, two weight bags, one on each side, and there's a Velcro piece that sets on, keeps it from sliding all over. Now you raise it up, this is four foot level. Raise it up six foot level, like so. And you take your screen and you set the screen on. Now, on the top of the screen, there's little pockets. And you take those pockets and you set them up on the top of the screen, such as this. Little pocket, set it over the corner. And on this side, same thing, put it on the corner. Now it's got Velcro fasteners in the middle and down at the bottom. Fasten the one down at the bottom, like so. Fasten the one in the middle. Same on this side over here. Fasten the one at the bottom, like so. And the one in the middle. And there you have it. That's your six foot height, so that gives you complete privacy behind. Now if you want it down, you just drop, put the push, push the pin in. Drop this down like so. Same thing on this side. And there you have a four foot level. If you want to have privacy in behind here, but you still want to be able to see over down to the four foot level. And again, you can put it back up to the six foot level just by simply raising that up. Now to take the screen off, pull the pocket off, velcro in the middle, velcro at the bottom. Same on this side over here. Pull the velcro off, and you simply fold, fold the screen up. Very simple, like so. Fold it, again in the middle, like that. And there you have it. Your screen is, your screen is folded up and put it back in the package. Take the frame down, you take your weight bags off, like so on each side. Slide this piece back over here, lock it in place. Drop that down, seam on the bottom, lock it in place. Pull this up, two hands, put it together. Then you bring the feet up, like so. And then the strap, the strap here. Just take the strap, strap it around, lock it in place. Bring your other feet up like so, and there you have it. That's it, and then you put it, put it in the package. There we go again, 70 pounds, lightweight. All of these structures, you can set them in a line. You can also set them in a square, make them a complete compound. Again, four foot high, six foot high. All of the things you can have customized to whatever you want. You can also have a screen with no verbiage on, perhaps just the striping, whether it's reflective, or uh, non-reflective. And to contact us, www.barrieronescreen.com or for pricing, you can email us at sales at barrieronescreen.com. And one thing before I go, I wanna say thank you to all the first responders, law enforcement, firemen, thank you for your service, we appreciate it. And for Barry One Screen to you, all the best. I appreciate you guys looking. If you want, contact us. Looking forward to talking to you. Thank you very much. Wow, you guys, that was a great video. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So we're excited to share with you our different partners. Sorry, trying to get out of there. Sorry about that, you two. Yeah, your partners are up next, right? Correct. So we're really excited to uh, share our uh, PowerPoint here that will show our different partners that throughout California have been using the Barrier One screens. Um, we'll go ahead and let you start that PowerPoint now. Great. 
Of course, that's us, barrier one screen. And so this is uh, the first entity that uh, organization that started working with us was Manhattan Beach. With this uh, picture, we would like to demonstrate that our screens can be set up in a complete square to surround your crime scene, or you can set them up in a complete barrier wall. They're very, very versatile. So you can see uh, that with this picture. So next. Palm Springs was very excited about us as we walked through the door and um, we were very happy to be able to partner with them. And so these are their logos, their shields and the colors they choose. Next. And those come um, as part of the package, is that correct, Vicki? Right, uh, so as the packaging happens, we offer um, your logos, your verbiage and the colors that you wish to have. Some people do not want, for instance, forensics do not want um, the reflective striping because it affects their pictures at night. Awesome. So you can customize it according to your needs. Great. Yep. This is Pomona Police Department. And then here we have, this one was a fun one because this one was for uh, Carlsbad SWAT and they ordered them without any logoing at all. But their particular order said they wanted to have the reflective stripe in the both areas. So when you have put it down to four feet, you can see both stripes or when uh, you put it up, you can see both stripes. And their reasoning was they didn't want their officers actually to run into it because it was a black screen. So <laughs> <laughs> um, again, for customization, you can really select how you want to put your custom screens together. Awesome. Fullerton, uh, this is Fullerton, and of course they used their shield and their badge on theirs and customized it without their um, uh, reflective striping. Yeah. I think in a lot of these screens you can see exactly how uh, different you can be with your logos or your verbiage. Right. Uh, so gives you an idea that you can have almost anything you want for your organi organization, which uh, makes it individualized. Um, again, they can create whatever they want. Awesome. The Orange County Sheriff, they were a great partner with us. And um, I wanted to tell you back on the last screen, Orange County District Attorneys, they wanted to put two shields up. They did their inv investigative shields and then they did their justice shields on them. So again, they customized that for their particular needs. You know, I could also see this being um, a great backdrop for, you know, if there's going to be some sort of media event and things like that too. That's really a great point. Um, we found that with Manhattan Beach, they started with first doing just their recruitment then they started doing their DUI checkpoints with them. And then they started doing their command centers. So they really are versatile to be able to just put your presence up wherever you go. That's great. Napa County Sheriff's, they were great to work with. Um, very excited to be able to have our screens. Again, on the Napa County one, you can see that the backdrop is not black. It's, it's a green with a gold. So again, you can have multiples of color depending on, on what colors you have for your organization or department. So a lot of, a lot of choices. That's great. And you're all banning. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Banning, yeah. Again, all of the organizations that we had the pleasure to meet were just fabulous to work with, so. Uh, this is just our multiple uses. There are so many that people are really using them for and we're, um, believing there'll be many more coming down the line as people start operating with them. Right, that's great. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, uh, that's just, uh, again, multiple things we can do with the screens. This gives you an idea of the flag, which is, um, we're, we're, we're happy with this flag, the way it looks and how it turned out, so. Yeah, um, that's great, that's a great idea. Great for our country and uh, again, Thanks to all the members of law enforcement and stuff for your, for your services. Uh, we have our prayers and thoughts with you guys every day. So thank oh, you guys. Wonderful. Yep. Thank you. 
we sure appreciate you being um, part of our team and, and one of our, uh, our great vendors that, that work with us and, and support us and support the association as well as all of our members. Um, I do have a question in the chat box. Um, have you heard of any screens being damaged during the re recent civil unrest and, and, and the riot incidents? How, you know, what's any feedback that you've gotten from some of your partners? I haven't uh, heard of anything being damaged at all from from any of them. Can I whatever, say whatever uh, use they they've used them for? So one of the things about the barrier one screen and screen is that the frame is made of carbon steel. It's a real workhorse. Um, we haven't had any failures or any instances where it uh, just hasn't performed for them. There are certain specifics you'll always want to do because when you open them up and you're out on the road, you need to make sure that you've got it rooted to the ground. And that's a real important thing is how you use it. It comes with two weight bags and each weight bag, once it's filled with the pea gravel or the sand, is worth 25 pounds worth of weight to you there. Right. And you can also stake those legs in the ground. So even in a real tough, windy area, you'll be able to find that it'll stand for you. Real easy to uh, solve that problem. If it does get real windy, you all you do is lift the top two corners off and remove that screen and you have oh, really no other problems with it being able to blow over or come down. Yeah. So great. So, so far we've had good luck with them. We haven't really had any yeah. uh, responses on anything like that. Yeah. So we're happy about that. Yeah. Good, good. Is there any other information that you would like to share with our participants? Any information we may have missed on the video or, you know, should they, they should reach out directly to you at sales at barrieronescreen.com. And of course they can reach you through our app, our CPOA events app that they've downloaded for demo days and for the virtual advance event. We are featured there as well. Any other information? Uh, if they want to know uh, costing to their particular outfit or however they want to do, they can again go to the email, mm -hmm. email us, go to the website, and also email us, and we can do the costing form on an individual basis. Um, as far as the screen colors, they can have all the screen colors. Um, gosh, what are some of the other things they want? What's turnaround time, delivery turnaround time, production? How long does it take you from order to delivery? That was, that was one of the things I was going to mention here. Um, ordering is a real simple process. All we do is ask you to contact us at sales at barrieronescreen.com and we ask that you provide for us your artwork for your organization, whatever that may be. So then when we get a what we call a vectored file that can be enlarged or brought down, we're able to put together a wall or a proof for you with your colors and all of that. It generally, once we get that artwork, we can generally have within a week back to you that proof. Once we get you to sign off and, and approve that, it's usually about two and a half weeks to be able to get the product in your hands. So it's a pretty simple process and usually it's the artwork that you already have for your organization. So it's a, it's a very simple process. We try to make it as streamlined and as easy it, as it can be. Awesome. Again, if they want to contact us, uh, go to the email. Um, we'll get it back to them as soon as possible and we can get started with them. All right. Yep. Yep. Well, really appreciate Al and Vicki, you being here today. And I, and I understand you will hold the patent on, on barrier one. Yes. Awesome. Yes, we are the patent holders. So. Wonderful. Uh, we're excited about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting yeah. us share it with you all because we do believe it's so timely. And in this day and age, privacy for what they do in their line of work is very paramount and barriers and, you know, just your presence in the public so that you can use these screens for all of those things. So yeah. well, thank other, you for letting us share it. Well, and the other thing too, uh, again, watching the video is that they are very lightweight and they set up in seconds, take down in seconds. And again, you can have them in a, in a long wall or you can make a command center out of them in square or you can put them in circles. Uh, very easy to use, throw them on the back, again, the back of your car, back of your van, SUV. Um, and I think they'll enjoy it. So, awesome. Yep.
Thank you both very much for being here today. Thanks for being great partners with CPOA. And I can't wait to see you face to face again, the two of you. Uh, us too. And uh, we want to thank uh, you guys for bringing us on board. And hopefully we reached out to people and can help. So. Absolutely. All right. Take good care. Thanks, thank everyone. You guys. Appreciate it.